right out of the gate. And I don't remember how we were going to end that one. <laughs> All right. I need a teleprompter. <laughs> yeah. 1 800. Yeah. Or no. Is that right? Oh, okay. What's next? Okay. Anytime? Yep. All right been around the industry since I was got my driver's license. I grew up on a farm in South Central Montana. Uh, my dad gave me the option of either work on the farm during the summers or go find a job. And so I knew I was going to make more money working for somebody else. Uh, so started working for a local carpenter, did that during the summers, went to college, came back to Billings where we're at now and have always had that entrepreneurial I could provide a better product or a better service and just having that freedom of being a being self-employed. And four years ago, I started Bespoke of Montana. We specialize in residential remodels, custom homes, and custom tailored projects to our clients. We would order cabinets from box stores or local vendors. And one of the problems that we would run into was more and more the quality is going down. We would receive a damaged product, unbox it, and we'd have to turn around and wait three weeks to get a new one. That would fluster clients. Skilled labor was another uh, issue that we would run into and not having that was hindering our ability to grow and provide that product. Uh, we, do have, we do have great um, uh, skilled employees. Uh, but in order, we were having to seek out new employees and that was just super difficult to find. So we s started searching for a machine and or, or a way to fill those gaps. And we stumbled upon a product that could fill that gap with the skilled labor and quality control and have an asset that we could use in house. As we set out on our quest to find something to fill those gaps. I realized I wanted a CNC. Uh, I felt that that was a way that we could produce uh, the cabinetry we wanted to do, keep the quality control at a high uh, standard, and fill that skilled labor gap we were struggling with. Through social media, run across companies that sold handheld CNCs and then the small desktop CNCs that you could put in a closet. I thought there was, were intriguing and cool, but as I learned later on that I was limiting my uh, company's ability and I felt like we would be struggling, not struggling, but we would be capped right there if we went with that style of machine. So I knew a big, bigger machine like a 4x8 or a 5x10 would be something that we would be needing. Looked at companies that were foreign, domestic. The issue that I saw was the lack of tech support. I knew I was going to have issues, not maybe with a machine, but questions. And I wanted to be able to pick up the phone and, and talk to somebody and get an answer within a reasonable amount of time. And I knew purchasing a machine that was made in America would produce those checklists that I wanted in a machine. I stumbled across Shop Saber, I would say, I mean, I've known about Shop Saber for years, but in my quest, uh, about a, a year before I received it, I'd reached out to the company, asked what I was looking for, what we did, and they gave a list of suggestions. Really appreciated their professionalism in as much as it wasn't a used car sales pitch. They gave me room to breathe and make a decision. And it was about a year from the time I initially talked to them and after through all this different research and learning about the hurdles that I would have if I went with a cheaper machine, whether it be a tool changer or tech support or a vac table, all of those things, it circled back to Shop Saber. And I looked up my email that was about over a year old and said, let's, let's do this. It showed up. We had to do a little bit of preliminary stuff, which that's just standard. It was super helpful getting the manual ahead of time to know uh, how to wire the vac pumps and did as much as we could. And then we had our electrician come in and wire it up. Um, and so that education from their YouTube channel uh, helped tremendously and was surfacing the spoil board, you know, that same day as the electrician was walking out the door. The first project we did with it was a just a small walk-in closet that, as I iterated before, uh, the struggle we had with um, other companies not fulfilling or dropping the ball. A client had a walk-in closet that the stuff didn't get ordered and they had a deadline. And I thought, well, yeah, we could do it on the machine. And I remember watching it and just 
being amazed at how it was doing all of those things and filling all those gaps that we were looking for. Before we would break down sheet goods with table saw, use a router to do our dados and our rabbits and our shelf pin holes, and you're using half a dozen different tools. And with the optimization with the cabinet software and shop saver, we cut that first piece and there was only like a three inch strip left. We've only had the machine for about six months, but it has added confidence when it comes to providing the products for our customers. And it's also allowed us to do, let, let's say if a line item like a kitchen or cabinetry, we would give that to somebody else. Now we have the ability to do that in-house and know that that's gonna be performed or executed at a high level. Early on when we had the machine, I knew there was gonna be a time when I was gonna have to call tech support. And I was, I wouldn't say I was dreading it, um, just because a lot of times when people have to deal with tech support, they maybe get anxiety of how long it's going to take and who they're gonna to talk to and can they understand them. We had a small issue and through a code, I had called and left a message on a Friday afternoon and I'd got a call back on a Saturday in the morning. I recognized the number and I answered it and they said, this is so-and-so from Tech Support Shop Saber. And I was, wow, they call on a Saturday? That's, that's impressive. And so we got it diagnosed. And the most recent um, interaction with Tech Support was, it wasn't a machine issue per se, it was something in the design side that uh, I was struggling with, but the Tech Support recognized that it was not the machine. So we logged in uh, through the team viewer and he walked through the software side of things to help me figure out what the problem was. Uh, I thought that was super impressive where a lot of companies would, you know, say, that's not our problem. You know, you might want to reach out to them or the other company to get your problem fixed. But the fact that he took the time to do that um, shows a lot of, have a lot of respect for that. And I think that was very professional. Currently we use the CNC for our cabinetry and our remodels or new homes. And when you're able to execute and provide a quality product in an efficient, speedy manner, people hear about that. The work started piling up. We had to look for a bigger shop, but also right now it's me that's operating the machine and doing the design which is great. I like the learning aspect of it. And I think I should be able to know how to run, run the machine and make sure to do that. But we're to the point now where we'll have to find somebody that can run in the machine in a full-time manner to keep up with the workload that's coming in. And then another, co another component to our company that we're looking in, that we are venturing into is the 3D printed homes um, where it's the same concept as a CNC except it's not extracting material it's uh, additive manufacturing CNC has been a great addition the 3d printer will just be another addition and being able to learn the g-code on the smaller machine and incorporating that into our business and being able to grow it while learning about the new phase of our company coming here soon has been super helpful if you're someone that's on the fence of wanting to get into CNC or purchasing the machine, I honestly would just say the machine does whatever you tell it to. And as an employer, we set expectations with employees. We want this done this way in this amount of time in order to remain profitable and keep the money or keep the company afloat. And learning that has given me the ability to pass that on to employees and setting those expectations and really growing as an employer because it's uncomfortable for sometimes holding people accountable. And if I don't do it over here with the machine and I don't do it with employees, we just make mistakes. And so as entrepreneurs, it's vitally important to have the ability to make decisions. It's what separates good operators from bad ones. If you're looking at getting the CNC or buying a machine, and you're hesitant, make the decision and call ShopSaver.